Why did my pension reduce now that I've started railroad retirement? Welcome everyone to another edition of the Highball Advisors Railroad Retirement Whiteboard. My name is John McNamara, Highball Advisors, and today we're talking about those, uh, those railroaders that have pensions from the railroad, not the railroad retirement annuity, but they're collecting pensions. Uh, so that's another uh, source of retirement income from them. And the reductions that come their way uh, when the annuity starts, all right, and how that, how that all plays out. So let's just talk a little bit about pensions, uh, uh, what they're talking about. So those are defined benefit plans, and they are, uh, the railroad contributes into a pool of money that uh, goes for f uh, future benefits. So it's different than a, a 401k where the employee is really making uh, uh, a defined contribution into a plan and the uh, railroad will match it. This is uh, the defined benefit. So you already know exactly what kind of amount you're getting. And uh, to be honest, there's not as many uh, pensions out there, uh, but the uh, people that have been in railroads a long time, they might have already been grandfathered into them. So I thought this would be an interesting video for them. And it, what it does is it gives them a guaranteed set monthly amount in addition to the railroad retirement annuity. So what can you do with that pension? Um, the railroad, uh, you can start collecting that pension once you leave the railroad after you've gathered a certain number of years, but it, it might be that bridge to railroad retirement that I always uh, talk about, uh, especially if you've left after 30 years and you're going to start your annuity. Uh, it doesn't, you don't have to leave after 30 years to start it. But that's something to think about. It's usually part of the 30 years. And like I said, it's mostly for uh, management or non-agreement employees are the ones that have it there. So I'll just uh, go through an example here. So let's say you have a, a railroader. Uh, it's going to get a $7,000 a month pension starting at 55 with 30 years of service. Okay. Uh, so that's, right, they can't start their railroad retirement yet until 60, as we know, right? 60 and 30. So, but however, the railroad said, uh, you know, you can re retire as early as 55 and uh, you'll have $7,000. So now when at railroad retirement kicks in at 60, this railroader is going to get 3000 uh, for tier one and 1500 for tier two for a total payment of $4,500. All right, so the first five years, from 55 to 60, the railroad is collecting $7,000 a year. Now, it's important to remember there's no inflation adjustment, so it's just $7,000 a year. Now, at 60, they're going to collect the $4,500, okay? So they're going to collect the $4,500, but the pension is now going to be reduced from the $7,000 down to $2,500, okay? Because the railroad retirement uh, annuity is uh, kicking in the other $4,500 and they'll still get that $7,000, all right? So that's how that reduction works. Now, the important thing to remember here is now with the railroad retirement, as we know, tier one and tier two, the tier one's gonna adjust to inflation, which is nice, and the tier two is, is gonna adjust around a third of the inflation rate. It's actually 0.32, but let's just say a third. And remember, the pension's not going with inflation, so that's gonna, uh, you know, as inflation keeps going up, the, the value of the pension comes a little bit less every year. So those are the type of things that you want to plan for, uh, definitely in railroad retirement, because uh, uh, over the years that, that will get less. So um, I hope you found this video helpful. If you are thinking about, if you're, you know, uh, uh, have access to a pension and thinking about nearing retirement, you want to reach out, go through my boarding for railroad retirement process, I'll help you out through that. It's free. It's good stuff. A lot of uh, people found good value in that. No doubt about that. Uh, subscribe on, on my uh, YouTube channel. I do appreciate that. Click on the notification bell to get the latest. And until next time, everyone, please stay safe, stay on track, and take care. So long, everybody. <laughs>